pop. Just like that. It's champagne, right? The hubs just brought me some coffee. I got up earlier than him. Normally he gets up earlier than me. I haven't had any coffee while I was getting ready this morning, so hopefully my makeup came out all right, considering I had no caffeine. <laughs> Spoiled Wives Club, party of one. All right, so today we are talking about Makeup Geek Champagne and Rosé palette. So this could be look number two. Well, really it's look number one for the Champagne and Rosé palette. Yesterday I used the Peach Bellini and absolutely loved the Peach Bellini. So let's talk about the Champagne and Rosé palette today. The Champagne and Rose palette is absolutely beautiful. I seem to get a little bit more fallout on this one than I did the other one. Could just be that I was absolutely digging in with my brushes because I had no caffeine. Alright, so as far as the colors go, I used a little bit of Wine Barrel, Rosé, Champagne, Sweet Cream, Bubbly, Berries, and Merlot. So I used everything except for Sangria, and Sangria I look forward to in another look. So, absolutely fell in love with the Berries, but I feel like in my eye look, the Berries is not standing out next to the Merlot, so I feel like those almost kind of went in together, which kind of was a bummer because I really wanted that Berries to pop just like that. It's champagne, right? Champagne and rosé, pop, get it? Ba -doop, boop. All right, bad jokes, bad jokes. This color champagne though that I have on my eyelid, oh my god, I need this in a pan size this big or bigger. This color right here makes the whole palette. I like the other the other colors, but this champagne color just is amazing. It goes on so pretty. I hope the camera's picking it up pretty. It It is just a stunner. So yes, this champagne color, Marlena, if you're out there listening, I need it in a pan size like this. This palette is absolutely great if you like the pinks. What I like about this palette as far as pinks go, it's more of a mauve tone. It's more wearable. It's not kind of in your face. And I really always have trouble wearing pinks. I don't feel comfortable in pinks. I'll wear them, but I just don't feel like they're my jam. This palette I like because it is wearable. It's not that Barbie pink kind of color. And yeah, all these colors just work so well together. I love the color combinations you can do with this. And it's just wearable without you feeling like you're Barbie. Which maybe you want to feel like Barbie. But this one will make you a pretty Barbie. Just saying. So the colors blended really, really nice as far as the, the quality goes. Absolutely love it. They, they just did a great job. I feel like with the pinks, again, it's wearable for me. And... Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited about it. So this is the look number one using the Champagne and Rosé. And I did, actually I'm releasing the video today on the Peach Bellini. So hopefully you'll get a chance to see both of those. I'll actually kind of link these together on each other's uh, colors. But both of these are in a, a, a knockout, home run, over the top. Love it, love it, love it. So, if you like peaches or pinks, or you like them both, I would definitely purchase both of these because the quality is off the hook, absolutely astounding, and the, they blend well, they work well, the pigmentation is awesome. I just, I really like both of them. So yeah, if you like, if you like peaches or, or mauve pinks, these are for you. I would definitely spend the money. You need these in your arsenal. You're going to feel like a gorgeous queen. That's all I'm saying. And who doesn't want to look like a queen that is gorgeous and ready to rule the world? You need these. All right, y'all. So if you want to see how I came up with this eye look, then you're in the right spot. 
Stay tuned. Very excited to get started with the second palette for Makeup Geek, Champagne and Rosé. <laughs> Let's get a little sweet cream all over the lid. It's going to be our base. We're going to pick up some Rosé. The rosé actually goes really good with this lip color. Wow. Wine barrels next. I really like this color berries. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Ooh, I'm getting it everywhere. Okay, I'm going to start with some bubbly on the very inner corner. Because I just love this color. And we're going to pick up this color champagne next to it. Oh, yummy. Take a little bit more of the berries. Just to go along that line and kind of buff it out. We're going to pick up the color Merlot next. Picking up a bit more of that rosé. And I want more of that sweet cream. We're going to take Earthquake. I don't know if you guys can hear the dogs whine. It's breakfast time for them. They, they act like they never eat. Then when one gets whining, they all get whining because we're going to think it's more low. We're going to smudge out that eyeliner with Merlot. I'm going to pick up a bit of champagne to kind of mirror the upper lash line. And mostly because this color is the then bomb. Then we're going to pick up the color Berries. All right, we're gonna go with some Inglot. And this thing cracked on the inside? Kinda odd. And I want it to last like all day, so I'm using green marble today. I think it's just pure alcohol in all honesty. Whew. If you hear that, that's my bagel acting like he's never eaten before. And he sees his bowl. My bagel doesn't talk or bark unless he sees a squirrel, his food bowl, and clothes that he knows that he can go with me. He knows my clothing and shoe combos. So if it's the right kind of combo, he's at the door and he doesn't back away. I'm going to try some new lashes from Esquito. Esquito? These are their Naughty and Nice. How perfect for Valentine's Day is that? And you have to have your head like that. Alright, we're going to let those dry a bit. And then I'm going to add a little bit of mascara into my eyelashes into these. To kind of hopefully lock those down for the day. Because I've got kind of a long work day. All right, so I'm going to do the rest of my hair, and we're going to go Thank you so there. much for staying and watching the Makeup Geek Champagne and Rosé palette. I really, really loved it. I hope you did, too. I look forward to your comments below. And, yeah, I just hope you make it a great day. Until we meet again.